In this day and age, the Father declares that I will make a repair of everything that is broken in your life. There are relationships that have been severed, relationships that have been severed to the point that the person has walked away in absolute and complete irritation, and I am currently working to mend these relationships. You are not need to make any additional efforts because I am stepping into the matter. In point of fact, the Father instructs you to remove your hands. You must put your faith in me. Through the power of my sovereignty, I am putting back together what has been broken and split apart. My presence is bringing love to places where there has been hostility. In situations where there has been dispute, I am bringing about accord. There will soon be harmony that will replace disharmony. Things are beginning to turn around. Your feet are experiencing a shift in the spiritual topography underneath them. When you look in places where there has only been darkness and confusion, you will see my hand. Make a shift in your perspective. It is imperative that you make a concerted effort to stop looking down that lengthy tunnel of hopelessness and despair. In this day, you should not allow yourself to be discouraged by looking at things. It is not a gloomy view at all. This day, my word guarantees that the promise will be fulfilled for you. You and others around you will be able to observe my hand at work, and even my words will come out of your mouth with a level of wisdom that is beyond your capacity or understanding. The words of reconciliation are about to be said. From from point forward, the conversation will no longer consist of volleys of resentment, words of blame, or accusations of guilt. Right now, my love is opening up to you. The manifestation of my love and forgiveness is becoming more apparent. It is time for you to get ready, says the Father, since the change is coming. Do you think that I am capable of accomplishing this task? In that case, I will grant it to you in accordance with my word, says your God. As of today, the Father has communicated to you that my blessing is on its way to you. A blessing is coming into your life in many different ways, including the amount of favor you have been walking in and the financial situation you are currently in. Previously, there has been a leanness of favor and a leanness of blessing. Nevertheless, at this moment, I am trying to make your bones obese. The fatness of my goodness is making your spiritual bones fat, and that is a huge benefit to you. I am making your spiritual bones fat. I am also moving in order to improve your relationships and to cause you to experience a higher level of closeness with my spirit. I am surrounding you like a shield in order to protect you from things that you are aware there are things that you need to be protected against. Those who would exploit you and take advantage of you will not be able to locate you or obtain entrance into your life. Additionally, those who are nasty and unsafe will not discover you. You will now walk out into freedom and liberty, having escaped the snare that the enemy has set against you. I will now turn around situations that have been damaging to you. The Father says, from today, you will have a better understanding of the surroundings and the circumstances that surround you, as well as a better ability to see and sense them. I will provide you with an X-ray vision in terms of discernment. When words of deception are said, you will cut right through it and say, no, this is what is really going on and they will admit it because it will be so evident that I am with you and looking out for everything that you are going through. According to the Father, the enemy's scheme will be stopped, and the frustration and stress that have been present over the course of the past several months will be alleviated. 
The time has come for you. This is the year that the Lord has chosen to be acceptable for you. At this very moment, I am leading you to walk in a divine clarity that is as keen as a razor. You will be able to see things and know things that you need to know at the precise moment when you require them. You are not going to be late. As a result, you will not fall short. As you make your way toward the goal line, the angels of heaven who have been assigned to you are rushing ahead to eliminate the obstacles that stand in your way. The task that I entrusted to you will be completed successfully by you. As time goes on, you will discover that you are becoming more and more financially blessed, blessed both going in and coming out and everything. This means that the enemy's restraining and resisting force has been broken. Because this is my promise and this is my share in your life on this day, you can now enter into a yoke that is easy and a burden that is light now. Through the word that I have spoken to you, the Father makes it clear that you are now free from all impurities. Despite the fact that you may feel impure, you should know that I have purified you. Even though you may have a hard time overcoming feelings of self-loathing and diminishment, you should realize that I am your purification and your advancement. In the same way that I hurried to meet the prodigal when he came to me, I will hurry to meet you at the precise moment that you look for my mercy in your life. You have been set free. You have been purified. As a result of your previous failures and devastation, I declare that you are free from every stain of sin. Those who want to lead you to live in the shadow of accusation and the pointing of the finger are the adversary of your soul. They are the ones who bring back the past and try to bring you back to that time. I have cleansed what I have called unclean, and I declare this to you in the same way that I told Peter in the past. Bring yourself into accordance with my word and evaluate yourself not by the things that have happened in the past or by the opinions of others, but by the testimony of my word that purifies you that is contained inside your heart. The Father encourages you to forgive yourself. Remember that I see you as I see you. Yes, you are clean. You have been purified. Your feet have been cleaned with my cleansing word, just as the woman who washed my feet with her tears bathed my feet with her tears. Despite the fact that you have made some poor choices in the past and experienced some harsh disappointments, the importance that I have on you as my child has not diminished. It is acceptable. This reality should be enforced as a fact over every self-recrimination that occurs within your own heart and every high glance that occurs against you from some individuals who are lacking. When other people look down on you or bring up the past, you should refuse to go back to that time. In the words of the Father, do not go there. The roof of your mouth should be the target of your tongue's cleavage. Never respond to those who criticize you. Even though the blood that was poured at Calvary was evident over your life in vivid reality, there are some people who will never forgive because they have not forgiven themselves enough. Not to be one of those people. It is okay. Let go of it. God bless you. Release yourself. It is the Father who says, I release you. You have been set free. Today, the Father instructs us to be ready to deal with the things that are familiar to us in the days ahead. The fact that you are going through some experiences and going over some territory that you have somewhat covered in your life, in terms of relationships and finances, will make it feel like you are traveling through familiar territory. 
This does not mean that you are walking in circles, nor does it indicate that you are in the wilderness in the truest sense of the word. As a God, I am one who never forgets the seeds of obedience that were planted in the years gone by. A crop of trust was planted by you in the past, and you exerted effort, but it did not appear to produce any noticeable results. Although you were faithful in the thing that I called you to, the benefit that you desired did not come to you as a result of your faithfulness. These are the areas that we will be revisiting soon. The fruit of your loyalty will not be allowed to cast its young without my intervention. You have planted in faith, and I declare to you that you will reap in reward for the things that you have been believing for for such a long time. Therefore, you need not be concerned if the landscape in your life is not shifting at the rate that you would like it to. At this very moment, I am working, and I am working both in your favor and in your defense. The things that your heart is set on and the things that you long for against hope are being brought forth from the fallow land of previous failures. I am working to bring them forth. To answer your question, yes, there have been inquiries and there have been inquiries, and I agree that this is acceptable in my eyes. Despite the fact that you may have been instructed to never question, the Father wants you to be aware of the fact that there are questions that you have asked me that are acceptable, and I am causing your ears to hear and your heart to receive them at this time. You have inquired and you have sought me out for clarification, and asking me for explanation is not an indication of uncertainty. Not only will I provide you with understanding, but I will also provide you with triumph. This is the moment and the season in which the heavens will hear the earth, and the earth will hear the heavens. Breakthrough will occur as a result of the fact that I am extending my treasuries to you with great joy and the anticipation that your deepest heart's desire and your greatest dream will be fulfilled. The Father instructs us to learn how to pray in a profound manner today. In order to truly seek my face, you must discipline yourself to make the time and take the time to separate yourself from the world and all of its distractions. The Father announces that there is a reward for those individuals who come to me in the press. Criticizing the reality of the depths of my spirit by individuals who have no taste for larger realities in me has become a popular trend in recent years. Dismiss any and all such thinking. All those who are sitting on the seat of the scornful should be abandoned. The counsels of those who walk in the direction of wrong and refuse to question the assumptions of unbelief and mocking of my word should be avoided. On this day, I am calling you to return to the simplicity of spirit that is associated with all those individuals who have approached my throne in truth and emerged with the solution to their problem. He instructs you to learn how to pray in a very large manner. As I have stated in my word, according to the faith that you have, so shall it be with you. It is through hearing and hearing by the word that faith is gained. When you ask me for the impossible on a daily basis, the depth of your anchor in my word and the dimensions of expectancy that you have are directly proportional to your ability for providing responses that are significant. My son and daughter, what I am trying to convey to you is that you are not thinking as big as you should be. By allowing individuals who have limited visions for you to influence your thinking, you have permitted them to do so. One who refers to themselves as a teacher is of the opinion that the only way to achieve great things for themselves is to belittle other people. As a result of this, they teach lofty things, but on the other hand, you end up feeling smaller. There is nothing that you have done that is incorrect. 
Simply put, you are putting your energy into the incorrect place. Go to a higher level. Adopt the realities that breathe the expansion of who I am in your life and bring them into your life. If this is the case, then dominating the water by walking will be as simple as getting out of bed in the morning. Consequently, everything that you say and do will start to have the same level of impact as if I had said it, or did I say it. The time has come for you to take action and fulfill the promise that I have made to you in your life. This is your portion. In today's message, the Father declares that you are purchased with a price. You are a priceless possession in my eyes. You should no longer allow yourself to become engulfed in crippling and terrible emotions of self-doubt. There is no basis for raising any doubts. When there is a lack of faith, there is a vacuum that exists, and that vacuum is doubt and unbelief. There is no reason to doubt me, and there is no need to doubt yourself since I am inside you. It is through hearing and hearing by my word that faith is gained. The spiritual hearing is impeded by doubt. Doubt is amplified and the truth of my word is watered down when there is a dense religious structure. It is inside you that the truth of the greater one resides. The reality is that when my word is abundantly present within you, it transforms you into a person who is incapable of failing. In order to mold you, I do not employ failure as a tool. Considering that I am not a failure, I would like to know how failing can make you more like me. Put an end to all of this petty thinking. Foster your confidence in God. Have faith in God and His Word. Have the kind of faith that God has. It is not in the force of the soul or the positive mental consent that you should assert yourself, rather, it is in the dynamic power of my presence in your life that will instruct you on how to achieve success and fulfillment. Immerse yourself in my word. Please let the story that is told in my word to direct, direct, and establish you. You need to detach yourself from the story of your internal uncertainties or your external fears. Due to the fact that I am who I am on the inside of you, there is nothing that can prevent you from moving forward with your dreams. Participate in my truth. Embrace the discipline that comes from my truth. I want you to give yourself over to the completeness of who I am on the inside of you until my word becomes that live letter that describes the entirety of everything that I have promised, not just in theory but in your own personal experience. This day, the Father encourages us to reject fear. The thing that you are most afraid of is precisely the thing that I want you to assault and attack with the weapons of heaven that I have provided you with. Don't give in to doubt. There is no need to retreat. Drawing back is not something that my soul enjoys doing. All other fears are unclean, but the fear of the Lord is the only one that is pure. It is important to recognize that you are being harassed by an impure spirit whenever you are being attacked by dread. It is not acceptable for you to give in to perversion or immorality, thus, you should not give in to fear either. Because fear is a spirit, it will flee from you if you put up a fight against it. Figure out how to sprint in the direction of the roar. In order to overcome fear, you should sprint to the roar of the adversary who is so obviously threatening you. Do not allow yourself to be held back by intimidation or to let anxiety decide what you will or will not do. Refuse to let these things happen. Remember little David, who came to the war as my champion. 
bring him to your mind with this. In spite of King Saul's false bravado, he refused to put on the armor of the king. Using the straightforward tools that he used to tend to his father's herds, he was able to bring down the enormous beast that far more powerful men in Israel had been trembling over for several days. This day, behave like David. Go out into the world and the circumstances you find yourself in, and make the decision to be my champion. Assault the adversary with the rocket of your trust, aiming it squarely in the forehead of his fiery and obstinate certainty that you are no match for him. After that, ride his body like a hind on high places and use the sword of despair that he intended to use to sever his head from his body. He intended to take your life with it. To this day, you are exactly who you are. The situation that you are leaving is just like this. Be aware that just as I was with David, I am by your side as well. You are not going to falter. You are not going to fail. It is because of who I am on the inside of you that you will be the recipient of the prize and the winner of the day. During this day, the Father says, as you continue to bask in the warmth of my radiant light that is awakening you from within, I am illuminating your spirit to come up higher, to press in further, and to experience me more than you have ever experienced me before. I am bringing about a transformation in your thinking that will bring it into agreement with my word. This will allow your ideas and plans to be established and successful. In my glory, there is a great deal more that you have yet to take part in. Despite the fact that you have just scratched the surface, I am thrilled to witness my children maturing and developing into the people they are through the power of Christ Jesus. In addition to shallow conversation or a heartfelt song and a prayer, there is a great deal more. In addition to praying for a birth, being present at a burial, or praying during the Sunday service at church. You are able to feel and experience me because I am a real and substantial entity. To get you to the place where you can be most productive, I am right here at the center of you. You should shake yourself and bring your heart to the point where you expect more from life. Allow yourself to be roused from the depths of your being by submitting yourself to the movement of my spirit. During this time, I will shed light on the truth that will help you create a picture of what your life's mission is supposed to look like. There is more to my word than just words on a page or a few stories that were recorded by humans a very long time ago, as you will see when you dig into it. It is because my angels listen to the sound of my word that my word is able to bring to pass those things that you speak out of your mouth in faith. My word is truth, my word is alive and powerful, my word is able to bring those things to pass. Through the power of my word, you can undergo a transformation from the inside out, becoming the very image of my son. Consequently, Remember to be persistent and constant, even if it appears that my word is not working or that you are headed in the wrong direction. Be aware that this is not the moment to pull back, but rather to press even harder, since your breakthrough is closer than you realize, and your answer is on its way to you and is on its way to you. Today, the Father says, My peace is flowing like a river, even now, everything you need is in this river. This river contain everything you require. With my serenity, there is nothing that is damaged or lacking, and it encompasses all within itself. Why do you require this? Even now, you should jump into the river. You should not be concerned about the rising tidal waters, 
especially if you are not familiar with swimming in natural environments. The tide waters are rising. There is something mystical and more real than the air you breathe while you are swimming in my river. You were intended to remain in this state of calm calmness for your entire life. What is going on inside of you cannot be shaken by anything that is going on around you, regardless of what is going on. On the other hand, if you allow the calm that is within you to flow out of you like a river, it will disrupt everything that is going on around you. You should not be astonished by the fiery agony that is taking place around you. It is putting the quality of your faith to the test, as if something weird or unusual were occurring to you. You should continue to rejoice in the same way that you are partaking in the suffering of Christ. This will ensure that you will be filled with great joy when my glory, which is filled with my glory and splendor, is shown. Despite the fact that you are being ridiculed and vilified for bearing my name, you are blessed, happy with life joy and peace in my salvation regardless of your circumstances, because my spirit and my glory are resting on you, indwelling you, and it is I who you praise. You are now entering the period of your life that you have been anticipating for a very long time because you have made the decision to separate yourself from others in order to serve my purposes, my plans, and my undertakings. The preparation of my completeness unfolding in and through your life has been accompanied by a great deal of prayer, as well as a great deal of blood, sweat, and tears. Whether you are aware of it or not, it is an ongoing process. I have made a promise to you, and if you have confidence, you will be able to get everything that I have prearranged for you beginning right now as you reach out and simply receive. As of today, the Father has revealed to you that there are rivers of healing running past your ankles. Your knees are surrounded by rivers that are healing. At this moment, healing rivers are rising beyond your waist. The healing of rivers that are deeper than you are able to stand. To bring you from the shallows into the depths of the healing flow, I am releasing my healing rivers and bringing you from the shallows. Join the water and swim. Get your feet wet and dance in the rivers of your God that are healing. You can count on me to be on your side, and I am right here with you. You are above me, and I am below you. I am both. Wherever you go, I will be there. There is no other place you can go. You are unable to run away from me, but I am able to run away from you. Why would I try to conceal myself from you? Why is it that you do not recognize and recognize me among you? Those who are calling you deeper are being called by the call of deep waters and the deep locations where my presence is found. So, let's get started. My river runs and brings my joy to the nations. Therefore, let the water flow from the sites that I have designated as holy. My river runs and brings my delight into the cities, thus, I will allow the river to flow from my seat of power. I am pleased to see that my river flowing and brings my delight to my children, therefore rejoice. Despite the fact that I am in the middle of you, you will not be moved. My presence is with you, and I am your safe haven and the ever-present assistance you require. I am pouring forth my healing river of life and joy, therefore sing with pleasure, so that you will not be moved whether the mountains shake and the waters roar, because I am sending forth my river of life and joy. When you are going through a difficult time, your hearts will be filled with joy because I am a river. You and all of my host are in my presence, I, the Lord. 
Remember that I am your God, and take some time to relax and be still. In this day and age, the fathers declare, I am restoring your soul. Through the force of my love, I am luring you into the domain of your first love with me, which is only beginning to emerge. Let me heal you and restore you to a position that is greater and better than any other place or time you have been in the past. Therefore, return to your first love and allow me to heal you. The fundamental blueprint of my design for your existence is created within you as a result of my repair being performed. You have been made and called for a great purpose, and the way to return to that purpose is through the gateway of your first love. Because I will take precedence in your thoughts and in your deeds, and because I will cause your soul to be filled with holy passion for my presence and my purpose, the Father says that I will once again be your first love. My holy longing for you will be revealed to you, and you will respond with the heat and the flame of the unconditional, passionate first love that you once possessed. In the event that you respond to my call to return to that love with all of your heart, I will make it more wonderful, more intimate, and more joyful than you could have ever thought it could be, my darling. I am my beloved's, and he is mine, says the Father. You will declare this with all the truthfulness of your heart and soul at the same time. The Father has spoken to us today, saying, I am awakening your comprehension and experience of the quantum measures of my spirit, and I am causing the realms of heavenly places and platforms to be revealed by the enhanced perceptions of your spirit and soul. Be on the lookout for the improvement in spiritual visual acuity that will start to cause many people to have visions that are accompanied by the anointing and revelation of a seer. According to the Lord, this is the time when many people will have visions and dreams. Many people will have experiences. There is going to be a revelator in every location, and there is going to be a seer in every tribe. In this hour, the light of my glory will be shown, and the realms and depths of colorful wavelengths will cause a new creative power to be released upon the planet. This will take place. A powerful artistic anointing is being released to my artists so that they can create with power. 